there really isn't enough people, say human, humane people, going to court. What we see going to court is people who are being punched around. Like, as for instance, when this guy over here calls the police on me and, and says that I'm disturbing the peace. <laughs> Fucking insult. Um, so, but see, we don't go to court enough. If you did, you would win more. If you're a benevolent being and you're listening to this, if you have achieved becoming human and you see all of the toxicity all around you that seems to just rule the entire fucking world. Hard, isn't it? To just, just, just kind of be sitting in the background and looking. It's like these people are hypnotized and... <laughs> Yay! Bouncing to fucking people wearing helmets. <laughs> you don't wear helmets. Not even to play football. I'm talking about rugby. You don't play, you don't wear helmets. Why? Because it'll give you brain damage. It's bad enough that your brain is already in a jar. Now you put it, your, your head in a jar in a jar, and when that fucking shit starts banging around, you're going to you'll be brain damaged in three months playing, thinking that you're going to be a football player. You're watching brain damage to people, if not people with frontal lobotomies doing things too. You, they want you frontal lobotomized. That's whatever. That's that world that's happening. I was wondering... Where is our sanctuary? Where is our sanctuary? We can't have it going on under the same roof. I'm sorry, you just can't. Not in your homes. I say find a, find a fucking place else. Is there a place where those types can go? And then we can go there. Find out what kind of sanctuaries that they uh, maintain for themselves. Who am I talking about? Comment section down below, please. I can't be the only one here. So, um, we're looking at complete bamboozlement of the human organism. Hope you can hear me. And this is like the message from Comet that just says, <laughs> <laughs> What is that? Looking down at Earth, right? And I'm getting the frequency. I'm like, oh, God, I know we're dealing with We're trying to get better here. But then the comment's coming by saying it's it's green colored. So supposedly it's matching the vibration of, of a planet called Mercury that we have. Sometimes it assumes of like kind of lime greenish, but more like, you know, phosphorus and green um, hue to it. That's just the planet Mercury. And Mercury rules our intellect, our minds. Our, our, our um, ability to rationale. And it, it's coming up. I mean, I'm just uh, piping up here. You know, when Venus moves into Virgo, I think is on October 11th or so, um, it grabs the hand of Black Moon and Lilith and Leo, and then they both go into the, a Mercury ruled sign. And um, a lot more. See, talk about going to court, you guys. The benevolent party of the organic team has to just go to court and say, uh, we already know this and this and this and toxic. See, when people do, they win. But here's the problem. And, and it's not a problem if you, if you can think it all the way through. See, money isn't what you're after. But see, Monsanto, Monsanto, who has been killing people with their fake foods and and um, and keeping humanity on a low, uh, they were invented in Vietnam, by the way. The chemtrails have found a way to manipulate the seed. You have to understand this. Can you hear what I'm saying? Hello, hello, you eating Taco Bell out there. You can't tell me anything. Stand down. Fucking coming from pure deception all the time. You have imagined a Nazaire's disease. It's called that your imagination has just fucking taken you to a terrible place. It's schizoid. Just think that it's a... Just imagine that this fucking liquid tar fucking petroleum juice is grape juice. Just, just think that. <laughs> so what am I supposed to think about the tumors? Like, that's just normal? Like that's what I'm, what I'm, now what you think there is you're growing oranges. You're growing something to eat. Here, let's, let's cut it out and let's feed it to a shark. They, 
they're enjoying it. <laughs> People, you need to be quarantined off. Not straight jacketed, but uh, maybe just put your fucking goggles on and say, yes, yes, this is actually happening. Uh -huh. And there's my grandmother, and I'm here. And basically, you're in a rubber room, man. Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> It's happening. How many people have damaged their shins doing fucking Google? Playing that stupid shit and not being able to see. They're already fucking running off of cliffs fucking watching their cell phones, babes. Anyway, I'm just kidding. I'm a liar. I'm a liar. I cheat. Everybody. I steal from everybody. I'm always scamming. I'm trying to get a deal. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I fucking hate you people. I hope I see all these people that don't know what the fuck they're doing, just, uh, it's like, whoosh, they said be resilient, and, and whenever you stay away from that, and, and isolate yourself, because, boy, they're getting rid of fucking things, like, whoop, not really, though, babes, you have to go to court, you have to go to court, if I have enough people, if I had enough people around me, and, I, and it's just, um, I shouldn't think so negatively to just jump and say, I know I'm not gonna have any fucking help, but really, stop imagining, Shauna, you don't have help! Find out how to take somebody to court. If not, just to rattle their fucking cage. Do they have a heart in there? Let's hear why you can't even fucking acknowledge me as a presence here. Babes, if we start, if you start knowing if me, I think I know enough now, really, and I'm not even certified, and, you know, it'd be dangerous if I was certified, really. <laughs> could, could could start labeling all these people. These, this is technically a psychopath. They are not reality or dangerous. Put them away. That one over there, psychopath, not reality or dangerous. Throw them away. That one over there, dangerous, psychopath. Throw that one away. Most of them. This, this is America for you, babes. You're a schizoid. You are a schizoid. Watch out. You're imagining shit. Fucking television tells you one thing and you think it's happening. What else? Santa Claus coming to town? You still moving to that shit? Schizoid! Think Jesus is coming? What do you think Jesus was? <laughs> Imagining that it's, uh, that it's okay when it's not? I'm sorry, you fucking... See, now, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at, okay, so I'm alone as far as if I'm in a room full of men. There. My, hi, Grandma. Let me repeat you, repeat you what my grandma says. Men are weak. They're chicken shit. They, some of them can't even handle blood, babes. And what do we do? Women do. We blood bleed every day. Not every day, every month for four days a week. We do some heavy-duty shit. You want to come to our childbirth? No, I think I'll go and uh, tap on a, on a nail. Okay, go on, go away. Chicken shits. I'm not saying that women aren't that way either. I, I, I am alone with a lot of women in the room. Needless to say, the more superior one. I dress down. I'm wearing my burlap sack, and it's 